Good evening, everybody. What is going on? It looks like we already got 14 people on here. That's oh wow. That's pretty good for us just starting this off. We'll see don't how ask why I've broken a sweat. Off. Yeah. Don't 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 question Brent. Um <laughs> there could have been some some new moves shown during that, but that's all I'm gonna leave that at right about now. Um, before we get started here, I do want to thank everybody who came out to our picnic. Um, we had a great turnout. Attendance increased by 30% over last year. Ran some numbers. So thank you for coming out. Thank you for support. Thank you to everyone at Six Flags for everything from just helping us get the event organized to all the donations, the amazing desserts at the back. Um, I seen Brent grabbing like three desserts at one time and was caught <laughs> on photo. There is an actual photo of that. I was getting them for my whole table, I swear. But I didn't see anybody else at your table. Okay, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I was getting my greens. My doctor said to get my greens, and I had to get a whole batch of M&Ms in order to have enough greens. That works. That's well, that, that is very, very acceptable. So... We are here to talk about the 2024 season passes, and this should actually be one of our shorter um, streams here. At times, we tend to go long and we talk a lot. We're going to try not to talk all that much. Um, Jackie, who just wandered in the background mm -hmm. there. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> always driving, we dropped the other phone. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to actually go some ahead. Some people have some decisions to make. Um, you know, when we have legacy products, they don't always have to make them that flexible. And so some of these newer products, some people may need to be thinking, you know, may start to think they might work better. <laughs> oh, hi, Stitch. I would bring the cat down here, but there's a good chance the whole broadcast would just be taken off. So. My cat actually looks too lazy to jump in the broadcast for once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is probably a little difficult to, uh, to and see please, here. Um, chime in with your questions in the chat. Yes, We're doing definitely. our best to help you out. We yeah. did receive some clarification and information from the park. So yes, ch definitely chime in here. Um, normally, I'm a very or a sticklers on you know make sure that you're registered with Streamyard, but we'll take questions as they come up related to the uh, season passes. Let me see if this looks a little bit larger. If I pull us out, no. So we'll just keep it the way it was. So first thing we're going to talk about are the two season passes that are currently out there. There is a platinum pass. There is a diamond pass that offers a VIP experience, according to <laughs> their site. Is that better than the premium experience? Mm, I don't know, because then all of a sudden I saw Cedar Fair is advertising premium options. Okay. So Cedar yeah. Fair's got premium, so we had to go with the VIP experience. Yeah. It looks like Hector joined us. <laughs> He's in there, maybe. I see the top of his head. There. I think the most important thing between the two um, is that the drink bottle comes with the 2024 Diamond Pass, and those retail for around $35, at least this year. They could be more next year, um, plus tax at the park. So if you are a math whiz or even not a math whiz, if you compare, look at that Platinum Pass add $35 to it and you're worth in, you know, six bucks of, um, of a, a diamond pass. So you really might want to consider just getting the diamond pass. If you are planning on getting those drink bottles at all. And since we're talking Cedar fair, I do have to pop Gary's comment up here. Really <laughs> prestigious pass. They had, I, I got an ad, a targeted email about their, I don't know, like passport. It's their all parks thing and it's offering the premium experience. <laughs> and then I had to like, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so really if we're looking at the deal, 
between a platinum and a diamond, we would personally, if you're going to get the drink bottle, recommend the diamond pass because you will get, um, basically if you're paying the five, six bucks for preferred parking for the year and a, and a higher discount and a couple more skip the lines. And remember, these are yearly skip the lines for these new passes, not, not daily. Right. So one and done. once you use your, your four for the year, you're, uh, you're done. And we will clarify the drink bottle that comes along with that diamond pass. Right now, the park only has 2023 drink bottles. They don't even know what color 2024 is going to be. So you're going to receive two coupons. You're going to have one that will get you the 2023 drink bottle, so you're good for the rest of this season. And then probably sometime before the park opens or early next year, because that diamond is valid at all the other parks, they'll add a 2024 coupon in there for you. So you'll have uh, access to to both drink bottles. Yep. And remember, if you're purchasing the 2024 Diamond Pass, that is the only time that you can get the 50% off of the Flash Pass to add on to it. I don't think you can add. I think it has to be as you buy it. Um, there's, or is that still on there? Yeah. Season. Yep. yep. So you kind of have to buy it as you decide at that point, but also consider that if you're on a legacy membership and you want to add the flash pass for 50% off for the season, I don't think you can still, you can't really do that for the season because ours doesn't get 50% off. So you might, some people are making some decisions and saying, I want to dump my legacy pass because the flash pass is more important to me. Um, and that's perfectly understandable. There are, there are some definite benefits to this, especially if you're a flash pass person. Brian Freeman, I do see you threw a comment out there. We'll yeah. adjust that. We'll get, to you. we'll get, we'll get to you. We're going to try to. You've been seen. It's a good you, question. You, you have been seen. Um, <laughs> Gary had another one here. Oh, and prestigious. Oh, so you can have a premium prestigious pass. That's oh. pretentious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's. So these are your two sort of typical season pass options. And this is still lingering out there, the Six Flags uh, Plus. Which again, that's uh, about 120. Um, am I mathing right? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not mathing right. 144 for the year. Um, and there's not much difference between this and a diamond pass. Uh, so it just is a matter of, you know, you can definitely do better if you're able to pay all at once. You can save a little bit of money. But I know some people locked into this already. I'm sorry. I'm looking really. I know. I do apologize if you are watching this at home. <laughs> We're struggling just as much as yeah as you are. Um so, I mean, I know as we tried to tell people to hold off and uh, we do know that there are a significant amount of people who locked into this contract. It is a contract. I have not heard of anyone getting out of this contract. I don't think it can happen at a local level. Um, if somebody has, please comment. Um, we definitely always recommend that if you can just wait till this sale every year, wait until the end of August, that's the time to purchase. But I know some people had an expiring pass and went with the Six Flags Plus. Um, so it is more expensive. It does not come with the preferred parking. It's, it says general on there, right? General uh, parking yeah. and a little bit of a smaller discount. Yep. Um, but again, some budgets, this is great because it's only, you know, $12 a month. And some people like to really just get it out of the way. Yeah. I mean, this is a nice, I mean, obviously if you looking for a monthly kind of yeah. payment plan, but you know, just be sure that, you know, at that 12 month period, if you decide you don't want this no more that you definitely cancel. Cause I don't know if once you hit the 12 months, if you're going month to month, if they, roll you into another 12 months. I'm assuming it's month to month. I think it's, I think it's month to month. Um, usually with Six Flags products, it isn't like it cancels that day. It's almost like you have to schedule your payment or your last payment. So sometimes you want to think, 
I don't know if these are still the same, but like with the legacy memberships, if I called today and I was like, I'm done with my legacy me memberships, I wouldn't, my payments wouldn't just stop. If I'm too close to my next payment, I would have two more payments. And then they give you the date. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know. Where he's going. I mean, there could have been something involved with feeding goats or horses. We have actually a good um, diamond pass question right above it. Yes. He's pulling bushes or something. I don't know. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> you will have four skip the line passes that expire January 2024 and they will be refreshed right after for the next season. Yeah, so I mean, technically, you're getting eight. Yeah, technically, I mean, four. Yeah, they always give you the bonus two. because most people, like, even though it's like, oh, I'm getting this amount for free, most people are going to renew at this time next year anyway. So it's not like you're really getting extra, <laughs> but it's nice that it starts now and you don't have to wait till next season. All, All right. right, let's move on here just lost my button there it is all right so the plan is still the one meal or the two meal with the three hour interval between there and again all the pricing that you see on this this discounted pricing it is saying september 5th um i know in the past six flags has extended sales but it would you know, never count no on it. you know it's one of those things that almost like if you're, I wouldn't count on it. If you were like, oh, I missed it. And then they happen to extend it. It'll be one of those things. It'll just be a sign that you should get it. Um, but these are really deep discounts. And we have seen that they do hold very true to raising prices after a big sale like this. Like yeah, if yeah. they say it's the lowest of the sea or lowest of the year, it will be the lowest of the year. They've been very careful with that. And also keep in mind, this pricing that you see out here, this is online pricing. Guest Relations does not have to honor any of this pricing that you see in here. I know that we had a message from one of our members. They In person, they honored the pricing on the pass, but the meal plan was a little bit higher than what you're seeing online. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, like it, there should always, there's always a discount for planning ahead. If you're already at the park saying, well, I need a way to get in. There's no incentive for six flags to be like, Oh, let me hook you up. You're there. You're a customer that's about to go in. Um, so really plan it out. Um, consider. We don't always know what the published in park prices are, but they really are keeping this to an online only. And it's something just keep it's keeping the lines down. If we all do this from our homes and show up with everything, it keeps the lines down. And that is a fantastic price for the food, by the way. I don't know what the lowest was last year, but that is. I don't think it was any lower. I don't think yeah, no, I pay one fifty. So yeah. So that ninety nine dollars is yeah, that's that's a good deal. I don't know why you would go with the seventy nine versus the ninety nine, um, unless you knew that your visits would always be short. Um, right. If you're if you're local coming in after six o'clock, you're not, yeah. you know, you're not going to be able to probably use that second meal. So maybe the one meal option is a uh, route to go. Yeah. Yeah. That 99 is, is, I mean, I'm considered the difference between those just a little more than one meat, one standard meal. So really fantastic. That's almost as some of us with their diamond, our diamond elite legacy, we're still sitting a little under that, but <laughs> that's, that's a, the lowest that we've seen since they've come back for meal passes. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't think these were ever discounted last year. I really don't. I think it was. No, I don't think. Full... I think they came back higher after. Remember, if you weren't really with us um, through the roller coaster that was all of the spring and early summer and midsummer is we kept getting new passes introduced. And then they would just keep at one point we had some passes that are the they kept going up by like sometimes $50 overnight, a pass would go up. And then the dining 
passes disappeared for most of last season. Then all of a sudden they came out around this time for this year. So we did have some time without dining passes. We did not know if they were returning. Yes. So again, it's, if you're looking to do this, I'm saying do it now. Mm -hmm. I know some of you, I've seen it in in comments and posts. Do we think there's going to be better sale? Nobody knows. I mean, we can consult the crystal ball, but it's not going to. Uh... Honestly, if I were to look at these prices and I would look at just the pattern of the last year and a half or so, this this is actually two years because I think even in 2021, there was that like $39.99, $49.99 sale around this time. And those, it wasn't repeated. People... I remember standing in GR and people asking for it to be honored. Um, so honestly, like I would jump if you're thinking about it. It's a, it's a good price. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. And then we have our flash pass options. Now, the one thing about, and I'm going to pop this up here right away. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. Sorry. Brian. Brian, yes, there we go. Do if legacy members can purchase the National Flash Pass or whatever it was called, it is the National Platinum Fast Pass. And we kind of talked uh, to uh, the park a little bit after our picnic, and we found out the only way you can actually add this on at the moment is if you are purchasing the Diamond Season Pass. This product has been removed from the screen just to go in and order, and you'll only get this prompt if you are purchasing a diamond pass. And notice that it does qualify for flex payments. Um, that has add-ons traditionally haven't um, in this newer pass economy, but this one does. Yeah, I think actually the the standard gold and the standard platinum, I think if I was okay. in the buy now, I believe those even have flexible payment options on them as well. And it's not like a 12 month. They, they are the six months of payment. So there are some options with this. Um, if you are someone who frequently, frequently attends other six flags parks um, and you, as you know, currently your flash pass is for your park. So if you're someone who bounces between our park and St. Louis, um, or you're someone who does a lot of traveling to other parks, this might be one of those things that would be, the driving force in switching from a legacy membership to a new pass, a diamond pass, just because that is considering that one day can be, yeah, I don't know how high they go. This do they go up to around like 75? I've seen them like at 155 for one day <laughs> before um, for a flash pass, depending on the, the park and the attendance. Um, this might be a better option for you than your current legacy, especially if you're not someone who buys a lot of extra food or buys a lot of extra merch. What is it? A 50 versus a 30% discount now? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So not a ton of difference. And then you, if you're getting a national flash pass, the difference in the skip the lines probably isn't something that really affects you anyway. So, I mean, really with the, the gold versus platinum, it's how much time you want to wait before you can actually hop on a ride. And I'll ask Brent because I know Brent has, you've got the platinum, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. And so on, really- on like on a very busy day, you want to hop on something like Raging Bull or Max. What, what kind of wait time are you typically? Eight to talking? 12 minutes, maybe. It's pretty quick. Okay. Versus, versus obviously what the gold is, whatever the current published wait time is, you're, half of that so if it says two hour wait you're gonna wait an hour before it's your time to i've never yeah. even done that i've never had it up that high well that's because you have platinum you've got yeah that that high i i think i've done a gold before just purchasing it for the day and i think yeah. it was like a 30 minute wait most in between rides yeah, yeah i i'm not sure if we, they still have it i know that then there's that typical like that standard flash pass oh, yeah, the red which, one yeah which kind of just holds your place in line so if it's a two hour wait well you'll be waiting two hours and then you can get on but if you know your person that likes to see the shows or eat you can go see shows eat and then come back and ride you know ride a ride but 
And, and I've you, never had that, but I don't know that that's going to work out in your favor because if the line is truly two hours from start to finish of bowl, they don't insert you on the ride. They insert you with another 10 minutes to go. So that might actually be longer than waiting, but a lot more convenient. Yeah, there is a flash pass and it's not like you go up the exit. There is a part where they merge and for some rides it's nicer and some <laughs> it's a little bit of a longer wait. Um, Gary said, yeah, you can reserve the next ride once you get really good at it. Once you're in, you can only hold one reservation at a time, but as soon as they scan your reservation, get in and put your next ride in. Never done that on bull where I had the next bull on the way out of the way in. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) All right. And let's see what I think we have one more slide in here. And then this is for the. Season haunted attractions pass. This one can be added to any product. Um, this one, you do have to have an existing season pass or membership that is going to be valid through Fright Fest. I know some people had passes that are expiring out right now, but as long as you have one that is valid through Fright Fest, this can be added. This will not get cheaper. Nope. This is about $5 more than what you could expect to see on the busiest night. We, you know, there's a range. It goes from, I think about 25 to 45 a day. But if you buy, my understanding is that if you buy a daily haunted attraction pass that you can only go one time per house, but this one is unlimited. If you have a season attraction pass if you already have a diamond elite legacy or diamond elite vip legacy you will receive one of these it is included but if you do not i think diamond has one house i don't know how that works in this (laughs) um if you don't have that already this is the cheapest it will be yeah and if you're trying to figure out how we figured out you know for sure if the Diamond and Diamond Elite are getting, or Diamond Elite, Diamond Elite VRP are getting the season pass. It's come out to our picnic next, next year. You, I just you, asked. <laughs> ask those questions. Every, it's because every year that ever we get things on our groups and you see in other groups, oh, it's not on my pass. They're taking it away. I've, is this three years of they're taking it away? They're not taking it away. I think even before COVID, they're taking it away. No, they, it'll, it just shows up one day. But yeah. it worked differently every year, but it'll be a season pass. Yeah. Not only, you know, do they answer our questions, they give us a fourth clue. But yeah. I'm not, we're not going to even get into that here. It's already been <laughs> posted on the site. So you can either find the video or find the, the actual verbiage. It fourth is Fourth strike. We did get a fourth strike. Yeah. So this is um this is really nice. I ha- just put mine last year on it. I don't know if it'll be the same. They don't know the process. Some years we've had to get wristbands. Some years it's been a ticket. Uh, one year it was digital on our phone. And last year it was a separate pass that had the last four of our season or of our membership. And we showed both. Um, but it's I just put a special Fright Fest lanyard and kept mine on there. Yeah, I followed in your footsteps. I did the same thing and so did Laura just it was you needed yeah. both of them anyway. Yeah, I would just wear both and then show them show them both. It was really convenient. I highly recommend it and it's just keeps them nice and, and easy. But this this is a high you will this for sure. You can't go to the park and buy this because by the time Fright Fest comes around, the sale's gonna be over. So <laughs> it is an online just kind of looking oh, at- yeah, I'm actually surprised that I'm actually they wouldn't limit the number of these that they could sell. I mean, oh, it's for the price, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. early. This is we we hear from our friends who get to the park at like they want to be the first in line, and they say early bird gets the worm. This truly is an example of the early bird getting the worm. Um, if you're that hardcore about Fright Fest that you're finding it during Labor Day, you're finding the pass and buying it, then you're somebody who would really enjoy this pass. All right. We have some, a question that came up. Yeah. I'm going to jump to the question slide. (laughs) We've seen that. Yes. So if you currently have a platinum pass, but you want to go to diamond, you think you're going to St. Louis. Oh, are you mean Labor Day weekend? 
I'm thinking Labor Day. Yeah. Okay. If you buy from Labor Day, do we have to activate it there? Would it affect? So once you activate a new pass, that is the one that you should be using. That becomes your pass. Not that the other one, not that they deactivate the other one necessarily, but like once you activate the new one, it's going to have all the benefits, the new benefits that you were looking forward to using. So if you had platinum and you activate diamond, then you're going to have all the diamond a memorial next year. Um, so you have platinum. So if you continue to use your platinum for the end of the year, but then you buy diamond from St. Louis to you and activate at the beginning of next year, I suppose you could do that. Yeah. Now keep in mind too, if you are purchasing St. Louis's pass, you have to activate in St. Louis and possibly some of the perks that might come along with those passes. Perks are only valid at your home park. So if Six Flags Great America is given a bring a friend free ticket on there and St. Louis does not, you're not going to see that offer pop for you for Great America. So yeah, keep that in mind too. Yeah. Any other questions that, on that was a good that's a good question that's and a good one good. to think about. We'll take any others. Questions on anything here. We're 27 minutes in and yeah. I've got no problem if we wrap wrapping this very very early and quickly. It's just quick information out there. But if you anyone out there, just drop some in the comments if you've got questions on anything that we could potentially answer. Keep in mind, we don't have the answer to every single question. We're just answering this best. I mean, none of us work for the park. We do ask questions. I think if some one of somebody wants to scroll through and see if we have some frequent questions that come up in our own feed. Um, yeah, we just answer the best that we have seen in our experience. And also, what's the new... It could strike at any time. The news strike at any time. Could strike at any time. So just stay tuned. <laughs> the picnic was great. It was. It was great seeing a I lot mean, of new faces. Yeah, they reached into the archives. We had like Iron Wolf stuff from the Iron Wolf stuff. It was cool. Like Iron Wolf. Preferred, we were giving away signs, preferred seating signs. <laughs> that magazine from the nineties was really cool. Yeah, what year was that from? 1990. 1990. The very last like item on the table. There were three of them. There's one that went really quickly. Um, I'm going to just scan through our group and see if I can see any other questions. Because sometimes people catch this later. Um, St. Louis did get, the, they had their new ride drop today. So we know that ours is imminent. Oh, yes. Memberships is... That, thank you. Yes. Yep. So the park is moving towards just calling everything a pass. Um, just because the, the legacy membership thing is, it gets confusing for everybody. And those of us who have them, we know who we are. Um, so yeah, you can add the dining to, uh, like if you, you can add the dining to a legacy membership that you can do. Yeah, the same, the same, th if it's the two meals, it's still the same three hours of apply. Yeah. Yep, you just take it with you into guest services, your your voucher for your meal pass, and they'll add it right there. Only takes a yeah. few seconds. Glad and they did that this year. In, once you put a new one on, that, on your membership, that it's not like you have two going concurrently, that's, then you're, it's just ex renewed for the extra year, the extra season. We have one about Oktoberfest. Do we know the package is the package the same as it was last year? I believe it is. I'm trying to see if I can find And that. we are getting yeah. merch. So yeah. like, yeah, there's going to be some cool Oktoberfest merch out there. Definitely. Um, let's see. If I'm I kind of excited that. for that. Oh, by the way, I was just scanning through. There's uh, three more nano nano coasters that just dropped in the park. So if you're someone who does nano nano coasters, you can do wizard demon. And what was the last one? Somebody can write on there. 
Yeah, no, there's three of them. I'm trying to think what that was. And as I look for the Oktoberfest yeah. question here. Of course, my phone doesn't want to work fast when we're trying <laughs> I think some people were asking a code for food. We don't have a code oh, for food right, right now. now. Yeah, there is no, we have not been given any special pricing this season yet for. Uh, if we do, it's always a gift. It just, and some of it depends on what they're using to ring things up. Cause when they ring it up on the small point of sale things, they, they can't do codes. What are our ideas for the new ride? Nothing has struck my fancy yet. Yep. She's here. Hi, Laura. You made it. Oh, and Leia. And Leia's there, too. Leia just wanted to say hi. <laughs> oh, she really did. She really did. She really needed to say hi. I'm still searching here for the the Oktoberfest thing. So if you see other questions, keep keep yeah. going. Don't wait. Don't I don't wait know what it's, what's in the last year. Wasn't the package like two or three things plus a stein? I believe so. Yeah. It was like almost. Oh wait, I know how to find it. It's if you're going to Oktoberfest and you are looking to get the package, check your benefits because there is a. That's right coupon loaded on there um for five dollars five dollars off um let's see let's read through this oh i found it yeah i'm just trying to figure out what's all in all included here doesn't say what's i know for sure it's it's like one entree one stein um, and then one side, maybe? possibly. Um, I'm sure if we're incorrect here, if the right people <laughs> are watching, we will be sent the the proper answer on that. Um, okay, somebody's asking what they're able to do with the VIP in their diamond pass. Well, this is where, like, as far as I think you get to feel very important. Um, there is that there is you do get the red the red carpet to walk into the park. Oh, that is true. You do you get, get to use carpet. that red carpet. The red carpet. You can make reservations for preferred parking. Which, by the way, um, lately they have been actually. This feels very VIP. They've been uh, cross checking um, your email with the name. With they've been printing the names again, but I think they print the names kind of early because I for sure had a, a reservation on Sunday and my name for sure wasn't on that list. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of VIP, but do, do get in the habit of making your reservations for Fright Fest. Cause that's no joke. Um, there, are, <laughs> we did have one, two, two days last year where the lots filled. Correct. Yep. One, yes. it was, it was a mess for the whole village of Gurney. <laughs> yeah, I was about to start offering shuttle service for, <laughs> for my residents to people for a for a fee. Do you know? Yeah, we were watching people parking in gas stations and stuff and walking over. I'm sure a lot of them got towed. Yeah, please don't do that. Yeah, don't, um, don't ever park illegally to go to the park. There are so do. many tow truck drivers that'd be very excited <clears throat> to hold your car for you um, for a very large tip. Um, yep. Date has not been determined yet, but it will be if it goes on. It's gonna be next season. We won't see. Oh, it. at the VIP lounge? Yeah, yep. it's yeah. We. I don't think that they've even like started building it out. No, no. I think there's only one park with an active lounge. I think. I think Great Adventure hat. They have. They have it. I think it's there. There might be two, but they may have a different name for it. <laughs> I think it's. Things pilot in different parks. I mean, the one the one park got a build a bear. Build a bear. <laughs> oh, so then that's three. Yeah, a couple of them have them. Okay. Anything else from anyone? Be really easy. Um, 
we can plug Special Olympics before we go. Laura, would you like to do that? Sure. We have a special uh, team from the Junkies for Special Olympics. Special Olympics will be first day of Fright Fest in the morning. Coaster Challenge. <laughs> Coaster Challenge. Thank you. Benefiting Special Olympics. Special. Sorry. It's been a rough day. I had practice today. Um, so Coaster Challenge is on September 16th. There and it benefits Special Olympics. What you do is you get to ride the coasters instead of running, walking. And depending on how much you raise depends on how far you have to go. Um, they should give you a lanyard that tells you how much each ride is for mileage. Bob, do you know what rides are available? For the the early for the early entry? Yeah. The early entry is going to be, I know, Raging Bull, Viper, Wizard. Um, I wouldn't have said there's something else. It's so the front um, part of the park. Again. The front part, yes. Okay. Yep. So you get to ride those rides for the early entry, but your pass will also act as a fast pass depending on how long you're going depends on how long you get access to it. Yeah. For example, um, if you're 5k, I believe the cutoff time is one o'clock. So yeah, you it's usually one, one to finish that. And the further you go, the longer uh, you have to actually use, use that. And what they do at the end of each ride, they will punch the card as many times as you've written, say you ride raging bull four times when you're done with it, you go to, to the end and ask them to punch it four times. And that's exactly what gets done. Um, if you don't want to do raise the funds for Special Olympics, but you want to participate still, you can volunteer. They are still accepting volunteers. Um, <laughs> and that is a great opportunity just to get to know fellow junkies. Um, sometimes they have two people per ride. Depends on the number of volunteers. Sometimes they only have one. Um, Especially if you can give some time in the afternoon. That's usually when they need more people. Yes. But yeah. it is a great opportunity. If you have any questions on it, feel free. Ask, message Bob, myself. Sarah's done it before. Um, I think I'm volunteering to check in volunteers. So I'll see a lot of people, a lot of junkies. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, too, if you're thinking about doing this, you can do it solo. You don't have to join our team. Um, you can join our team. If you want to form your own team, go for it. The thing is, all the money is going to the same cause. So it's not like, you know, the junkies team is battling over another team. It, it's all going to the same, the same cause. So it's, you know, if you want to start your own team, go ahead. By all means, you know, grab some friends, grab some coworkers, form a team. That'd be awesome. More money we can raise for Special Olympics, the, uh, the better off it would there be. There is a minimum raise, right? If you have a pass or membership, is it? Still a hundred dollars. Yes, one hundred if you have a pass or membership. One fifty if you do not have a season pass or membership. And you'll get a nice T-shirt and a medal and just a fun morning. Breakfast. You get breakfast. Mm -hmm. There's breakfast served. Um, couple more pass questions. Um, can you add national flash pa pass to Diamond Elite? Not currently. Nope. Yeah. And then are the cups or diamond plastic? Or are they metal? They. We ha no one's seen them yet. We would presume they are plastic. Uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been. Looks like Mike Burke is on there. Hi, Mike. Mm -hmm. Hope you're having fun. Mike Burke there. is on. Yeah. We have some, perhaps some surprises in store for Fright Fest. For I mean, a lot of us will be around, but yeah, if there are no other questions. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up here. So, thank you for your time. Uh, you know, if there's any questions on this after this ends, be sure to just go ahead and make a post or drop it in the comments on this video. We'll see it. Somebody will see it. Um, we'll get you an answer. Questions on Coaster Challenge? Shoot me a private message. Shoot Laura a private message. Make a post. Whatever you're most comfortable with. I know we have a lot of long-time members who, you know, they more read. So if you're not comfortable posting, you can always send us a message about Coaster Challenge. Not a problem. All right. 
thank you very much for your time. We're at 41 minutes, so we're definitely near the hour. So uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>